What's up YouTube? Drew here from Pelicars, uh, working on the 1994 Toyota Carina JDM import. Uh, this again, I'm not sure if you saw the video of the detailed walk around, but this is called a 4SFE. Uh, we had the 3SFE 2 liter in the uh, late 80s, early 90s Camrys, and then the 5SFE in the 92 through 01 Camry at 2.2 liters. We never got the 4S which is 1.8. Uh, I'm assuming it's the same thermostat, which goes right here as a, um, you know, a Camry, a 94 Camry. So hopefully I'm right. Uh, it's just two 10, 10 millimeter bolt heads there. Uh, I was able to get at this one with, you know, just my regular wrench and one extension and a regular socket. Um, that one, I was able to crack it loose um, you know, with, with no extension and just this socket, but I'm going to throw a swivel and use this to get the rest of the way off. Um, just wanted to show you guys down there where that, you could see the coolant dribbling. That's where the petcock is. Um, unfortunately it dribbles onto the splash pan as well. So what I did is I jacked up the back of the car to aim that dribble at the hole that it's draining into. Uh, once I had that all set up nice, nice, I popped off the radiator cap to relieve the pressure, got those screws cracked loose, and going to throw a new thermostat in this bad boy. Stay tuned. Okay, so the new one is on the left. Um, kind of hard to show you guys. You might just have to take my word for it, but I uh, used this caliper to measure to make sure that the two are the same. Hoping the 180 degrees is correct. The temperature gauge will tell us that, but this bad boy looks like it's the right one. Well, it's still too soon to call it a success, but everything's back together and doesn't leak. Uh, get it up to temperature and see what she does. Just gonna jack up the front of the vehicle and burp the radiator, uh, which basically means just let all the air bubbles trapped in the engine come out, but it fit. So that's what we wanted to see. Well, I would call this a success. The car used to go like miles without coming up to temperature. Um, it very quickly actually overheated. It's not the first time this has happened to me. I put a new thermostat in my 50 Chevy once and it did the same thing. It like pegged and then it opened and after that it was always fine. So I don't know if that's common. The first time a thermostat's used, if it heats up, then opens and works normal after that. But that thing has got better homeostasis than I do. It's right where it's supposed to be. Um, it used to get up to about there, but then dropped down to almost cold when I was driving. But it's staying where it's supposed to be. So this was definitely a success.